going on pom pom gang welcome back to another pom pom sisters youtube channel we are doing a, another hair tutorial on some cute knotless braids for kalia kalia is not new to knotless braids i have done them before and there's also a video of her rocking her knotless braids in different styles that she loves to wear them in but for this one i decided to add some cute accessories i saw it floating around on instagram this cute photo of these colorful rubber bands all throughout the knotless braids and it just looks super cute i had to give it a try on kalia so i'm just doing kind of an update on how i style kalia's knotless braids her preparation and all that good stuff so for the most part we're going to go ahead and skip through the washing and the drying and the conditioning i am showing you guys the products that i use of course and as of right now i am loving the pretty strands hairline i use the shampoo conditioner but my number one phase is that leave-in conditioner and the hair oil and we're going to be doing a hair oil treatment using the pretty strands hair oil i've also done a review on the entire line of pretty strands you can check that video out i'll leave the description down in the box so this is after i have applied the conditioner and i use a lot of conditioner because i'm also going to detangle her hair and then i am going to put the hair oil in so this is with the hair oil conditioner and her hair has been detangled i'm also going to show you her uh, shred shed hair that comes out out from after detangling which is usually a very minimum this is about the usual I get for her so once she sits on the dry for about 15 minutes we are now gonna go in with blow drying her hair the two products I will be using is the pretty strands leave-in conditioner I will spray that all over her hair and I'm pretty heavy-handed on that as well as this bro dry styler primer by design essentials i've had this for a while to be honest i haven't really purchased too many heating pro products because i don't usually style their hair too often using heat so it's probably about time as you can see that bottle was pretty empty it's probably about time for me to go find a new product to try out on the girls when it comes to uh, blow drying their hair and styling their hair using heat um but i like i said i rarely do it so this is what was left over on hand and this is what i'm using it does what i needed to do as far as blow drying her hair without you know causing any further damage or causing damage period Once her hair is dry, I am now going to go ahead and prep her hair for this protective style. Now, when I say prep, I mean we're gonna keep her hair moisturized. We're gonna add a moisturizer to help keep and hold in moisture while her hair is in this protective style. So she will wear these braids for at least three to four weeks. It is summer break. I am not trying to be bothered with styling hair every other day. So we are throwing these braids in. Vacation is right around the corner, so I want something that's gonna be easy for us to manage. And if she goes to grandma house, grandma won't have to worry about her curls or her hair getting messed up it'll be in these nice braids so I know I'm not the only mom who their where their kids disappear for a weekend and come back with their hair in matte balls that that is like the epitome of my kids so I'm going in with the Pretty strands butter benefits for the moisturizer again I am very heavy-handed on my moisturizing products when it comes to Kalia's hair. She has very, very, very frizzy hair. Moisture is key for her type three curly hair. So once I apply that butter, butter benefits, sorry, all throughout her hair, I will then brush it through and then we're gonna go ahead and start braiding. Now I'm gonna show you three ways how I install these knotless braids. Disclaimer, I do the underhand method when it comes to braiding, like regular box braids or if you're doing corn rolls, that same method of turning the braids underhanded versus overhanded. Yes, there is a difference. Overhand braids are usually called, you know, the Dutch braids, um, which are really, really cute, but my hands just cannot cope with doing the overhand method. I've always, I, when I learned to braid, I started out doing the underhand method and that's the method that has always stuck with me. So when I install her braids, we're doing that same motion when braiding her hair down. So I only am going to add three strands of braiding hair to each braid, no more than that. Of course, if you want them longer or thicker, 
by all means add more strands if you like but i want these braids to look as natural as possible i feel like that's the point of knotless braids is for them to look as natural like they're just your hair being braided so i only add three strands to her hair and then i just continue braiding down all the way to the end and we'll dip them in hot water If you are still rocking with us through this video, thank you, love. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Pom Pom Sisters, if you are not already subscribed. For more videos on hair care, we take care of all natural hair textures from wavy, curly, to kinky hair. Literally every hair type and hair texture is on our page. I even had my husband come join the curly gang. He, well, he's not curly, he's more wavy. But either way, he has also joined the textured gang. We did a perm rod set on him. So if you haven't seen that video, that link would be down below as well. So you can see his now curly hair and it's just like awesome. So the whole family is now textured curly heads. I just love it. Now, Kalia's Knotless Braids, this took three packs of braiding hair and I used the feathered braiding hair. I hate having to feather braiding hair. I'm lazy, so being able to skip that part, and plus I'm not even good at it. So when they finally came out with feathered braiding hair, where all I gotta do is just grab the hair and braid and go, honey, I was all for it. Take my extra $3. I am okay with paying the extra couple of dollars for the feathered hair anyways so this took about three hours as far as braiding time it took literally the whole freaking day from washing her hair to the very end of styling so um, just something to like keep in perspective is if your hair is already prepped for this fine but it was wash day for her so i had to wash her hair we had to do the hot oil treatment that and then we had to blow dry her hair so yes this took legit from the time we woke up to probably about five o'clock in the afternoon and i mean it's worth it because it's going to last her three to four weeks but i usually get a lot of questions on how long it takes to style her hair in these knotless braids and i did them a lot smaller than i've done in the previous knotless braids that we've done on our youtube channel um but i absolutely love these cute little rubber bands i like a little added bead accessory the only downfall to using is they pop very easily so if you're okay with going in there and reapplying those rubber bands go for it sis but i wasn't so once they popped and fell out that that, that was the end of it Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below if you like my hair or not. And click the bell to watch other videos. Bye! Bye. 
But this is it. That's her style. She's all good to go. Thank you, Pompon Gang. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We will see y'all on our next video.